They added a feature in Null at time? No way. What? No way. They added a feature? Okay, so I got the funny book now. Oh, you can actually see what people have. People have. Oh, yeah. Sacred does seem like a lot of fun now. They, they kind of looked a little boring to me before, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I want to, I'm, again, I'm not trying to hate on the game when they've added some cool stuff finally, but I really wish I could save my skill loadout mm -hmm. so I can try out a different one. That's the one but, thing I actually did uh, notice is that if, if I want to reset, I'm going to have to just do it all from the beginning again, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to just have a screenshot of my current build lying around. Uh, but... Yeah, my, my current build is, um, I believe I have some coherency skills uh, that let you regen um, toughness quickly uh, on like special kills or whatever. And you just always get a little bit of a crit boost when you're in coherency with me. Mm, I think mine is all just like, oof, can feel a little weird. Yeah, mm. uh, you. I uh, for me, I felt I felt like my FOV was very small. Yeah, I'm feeling the same. You Sir. can increase it. Is there? I quite a lot even. Uh, video field of view. Ba, 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 ba. Mine is uh, 115 horizontal at the moment. Because if you increase it much further, the view models start to feel weird as well. Mm. In my opinion. That's where I set, ended up settling. Okay, and then I shall do... Eh, I'll see what my, my my thing is like for now. I remember I had to have DLSS on because this game ran like fucking garbage. Uh, I, I've, I've heard people say it's better. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I gotta bless you. Gotta sneeze first? Oh, that's, that's our teammates, okay. Yeah. There's an enemy. Yeah, I'm gonna be mostly using my uh, my shards. Uh, I took tons of the damage. Damn, not being able to charge is kind of a big deal. Seems like uh, coherency, or at least shields, are a lot more regenerable. I don't remember shields being this regenerable. Maybe, yeah. I don't actually. Can't remember that very clearly. I have yet to run out of my shards so far. So a lot of the time you get them back while you're just venting uh, peril. Mm -hmm. And they're so good. They're not. I don't think they're as good at clearing a horde as the lightning, but they're still quite capable. Oh, you can you can dodge forward. Okay. Weird. So that's just like, I want every one of my teammates to be invulnerable for a sec. Definitely and, uh, and I actually give you a massive buff as well. By the hmm. looks of it. Because you had plus 80 to your shields as well. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Quite beefy. I'm gonna explode. 
Oops. Oh fuck, I can't do my uh, thing while I'm running. There's still some uh, some getting used to not just having my ability that lets me instantly vent the uh, other peril. And instead one that fucking kills me. Also, uh, because I don't know if you... I don't know, I think this wasn't a thing before, maybe it was. Uh, you have a separate ranged and melee sensitivity. Oh. That's kind of weird. Which... Um, I, I get it, I think it's it's an interesting uh, thing. But it, it did cause the game to feel very weird for me, because I'm like, why does my sensitivity feel so off? And like, inconsistent, and it's like, oh, it's just whenever I switch weapons that it gets different. Hmm. Feels about the same for me right now. Yeah. You, yeah, you probably didn't change it. I had to change it because I had mine just too high from last we played. And I only changed to one. I still inspect my weapon. I couldn't what find the that? button, but I'm... I was trying to earlier as well, I can't, I can't figure it out. Barely remembering this game right now. Hmm? I'm barely remembering how to play this game. Where the fuck is it? It'll be up somewhere, right? Fucking... I thought that I was, um, gonna be an actual book because the icon has a book. But no, it's a, it's a, like a cross. Oh. Fair enough, I suppose. I'm probably gonna want this, uh, medical station right here. Yes, I will take a med station. Yeah, performance definitely seems uh, better. Yeah, I'd fucking hope so. No idea what the stacks mean. Yeah, that is... I have a similar thing. It's like I have stacks of these passes and I don't quite know what they're doing. I, I know some of them. Because I'm like, oh hey, I picked this ability, but other others are just... a little too vague. God, I love the bolter so much. I'm finally kind of remembering how to play. Ish. It is ridiculous how I can just... Per I haven't actually used my staff once. It's just been the, the darts. Yeah, I feel like they changed the bolter equipping animations because I, I, I take a lot longer to take it out now.
I also forgot how sparse uh, ammunition is in this game. Oh yeah, that's something I've never had to deal with, pretty much. I wonder if I could turn off DLSS now. Video VSync off, DLSS off. Seems like it's functioning. Although I now I notice I might need some anti-aliasing. <laughs> Stream won't notice it though. Me moving fucking slow as fuck. I will say when I uh, when I started this up again, I did have the feeling of like ah, good old hard murdering. It is it's, it is still fun. Mm-hmm. Just even if the game was a uh, a bit of a shame in many ways for a long time. We're still very fun when it launched. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I did, I will, I... I was always disappointed by how... From very, from the moment it launched, basically, or from the moment we uh, first played it in that beta... Oh, I'm gonna explode again. Oops. Um, the language around the classes... All, uh, made me assume that at actual, that, like... There would be much more. And then for the longest time, they just had one class for... Uh, or yeah, just the four classes. When the, the language always made it seem like, oh, you have a veteran sharpshooter. So sharpshooter is a subclass of veteran. Yeah. Which just wasn't the case for ages. So I'm glad they finally fixed that. Because it was super disappointing. What's your objective now? Furnace controls. It's a big old horde here if you're interested in uh, some murder. There's also one over by me. Oh, then I will just uh, keep fighting this one. Oh, you're here now. Oh fuck! What? Are, oh, there's a game I played recently where blocking didn't do shit. Oh, Cyberpunk. Mm. I'm glad that there's actually a game where blocking does something. There, oh, watch out, there's a uh, boss. Oh. Oh, there's... What? There's fucking two of these dudes? Oh, my. Oh, fuck. I forgot that the dogs actually pin you. Oh, Just I'm gonna die. Jesus fucking Christ, this this is one hell of a boss. Basically just shoved me into a corner. Oh. Me fucking perishing. Jesus fucking Christ, this boss is annoying. Top 10 boss designs? Damn, we all died? Yeah.
We're still getting back into the swing of things. True. Enter. Continue. Doesn't continue. <laughs> classic. The classic press a button to do a thing. It doesn't fucking work. Yeah. Press any button. It actually means press space or enter. Okay, FXA seems to be better. TAA made it so fucking blurry. Hmm. Yeah. You do have a tendency to do that sometimes. Why is my current texture quality NA? Do I not got textures? <laughs> not applicable. You're right, you're right. Also requires a restart, apparently. Huh. I ain't doing that shit. Where is it like anti-aliasing even? It's, uh, it's under performance. Maybe, maybe that anti-aliasing doesn't do much? Oh. Uh, it's because I have the LSS on. It doesn't let me uh, do it. Hmm. Why why is the frame rate caps at 30, 60, 120? I know, right? Is it really hard to have 144 and 90? Yeah, it's 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 a weird choice. Am I even running at 1440p? I am, okay. Oh, am I allowed to queue for stuff? Oh, I am. Oh, huh, interesting. I didn't expect that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, everyone could queue. It's not like in, in Payday 3 where only the host can queue. Or Wayfinder where only the host can queue. They really need to make it, like, from now on that if you're in a party, just let everyone fucking queue. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If you're in a party, you're probably communicating them with them. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh my god, TXA is so fucking off. Turn off. And that'll do. I'm seeing so many fucking pixelated jaggies, but whatever. Hey, bit of a change of pace from the nasty old 
I've heard is some that... people say that Shield Ogren is now a lot more interesting to play because you can actually deal damage rather than just sit in the shield. Havoc. Finally some gameplay. But I forgot how uh, awkward the fire it was in the bolter though. Yeah, something makes me think they're getting Mooner from that. <laughs> yep. For sure. It's... The strength of them isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's just... The, the recharge. It's very fun, but it is kind of ridiculously strong. It's also like, I, I'm using my Void Strike stat because that's what I used before. And I really like it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not actually using it because of. Like, what's the, the point when those are so strong? Too. Yeah, so. I think. It would be better if I grabbed the lightning staff for those rare situations where I, like, need to stun something. I actually can just do that. Also, kind of sucks because, like, uh, people on that might not be able to do much when you're using those. Because it's such a ranged homing ability. Behind us, yeah. by the way. So this seems like a just make everyone invincible ability for a second. On, Fuck am I getting shot by? There's a, a minigun over there. Yeah, but I was crouching uh, behind a does cover not work in this game? Apparently not. There you go when we fought those before. Not that we really needed the invincibility, to be honest. Get some like clean hits on their head. There we go. Like that. Dealt a lot of damage. Nice. Yeah, I was trying to get that the whole time. I got no more ammo in my, my bolter, so... Range is out of the option for me right now. I'll let you see if I find... Oh, well, I'll let you know if I see any. I'll let you see if I find any. That too, I suppose. It's still weird that they're going with the, like, the icon to tell you how much ammo people have, as opposed to just, like, a much more yeah. clearer way of doing it. Like, you could like just have an amount or a percentage. 
I'll help the bot up. What do you need, Federal? Return! Targets identified. Oh, there's a flamer guy somewhere. I think there was a chest over here. I'm gonna have a look and see. Nope, that was grenades. That wasn't ammunition. There is a bit of ammo here. Hold it. Thank you. I don't know if I had just a lot more ammo in the original game, but it really feels like I got way less ammo. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe um, you were used to it, so you were using it more efficiently. Or yeah, maybe. maybe you have more. Not a big fan of this, uh, this uh, taking out animation from the bolter. Where I gotta like jam on the the bolt every time. Hmm. I must return to my companions. Oh fuck, I'm miles away. Okay, that's good. Cause that that actually stuns dogs. Oh. That's very nice. Yeah, so that's basically just, uh, if I'm away from the team, I can get back. I mean, I could also just dash towards my teammates if I had the dash ability, but... True. I'd imagine, well, it doesn't, like, make me immune to being jumped, though. Yum! I'm so full for a Medicaid station, yum! Yum! I just pressed something. I started an objective. I didn't read what it does. But it's the thing where you have to go grab the barrels. Yeah, it's pretty good. Got a power cell. So, uh, I'm gonna request that you help me out here. Uh, Actually, give me a sec. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna give you a sec. Hey, you're Let me throw some arrows about here. Before I grab this power cell again. Okay, I'm gonna reload if I can. Don't have time. Luckily, there's stage reloads in this game, so I can do it partial. Right. Let's go grab the second barrel. There's some ammo in here, by the way. Okay. Coming over. Do we know where the second barrel is? 
Yeah, it's marked. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Trapper. Trapper? Ten. Oh. Something I always liked about the specials in this game is you actually can avoid all of them. Yeah. I wonder if the dogs are more dodgeable now because I remember the, the timing on it felt a bit weird. Yeah. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, this is just stunned enemies. It stops them from doing anything, actually. Very, very useful. More ammo over here. Yum. I'm so full from boulder ammunition, yum. Yeah, I've got a real... Finally got a... a, a I'm using the... Cleaving the AOV uh, force sword now, which is... Very, very nice. Nice to just be able to actually melee a down a group now. Even if just throwing a shard is strictly better. Because mm. holy shit. Survive the attack? Well, I mean, if I wanted to survive the attack, I could just, you know... Press the survive button. Yeah, just yeah. press the infinite am or press the infinite health button. I'm gonna use this medication station. Where's the exploded boy? No. Sorry. Oh, the second one. How do, the re re uh, how do the reworked trees fare in comparison to the old skill trees? They seem a lot better, a lot more choice. Um, but I've only tried one so far, which is this one, where you get the... Uh, get the I want to be invincible button. I think... Um, apart from... I, they're definitely just more interesting to do stuff with. Because yeah. you actually do have some choice. Uh, and I... I was gonna say I feel like they're stronger, but that is probably also just because I'm a psyker and Brain Burst was halt shit for <laughs> the longest time. I don't know if it's better now, but I, I should try a Brain Burst build at some point again. Just to see if I can make it work better now. It's probably also because you're using the arrows which are like borderline too strong yeah i want to i want to mess with the lightning as well at some point but again uh because i'm not sure if we complain about this on stream or if this was while you're still making the build uh the only problem i have is that you don't have a way to save a specific skill build uh because i would really like to be able to be like hey okay this my current build, which is um, the homing arrows and then crit based, is working quite well for me. So I would like to save this so I can just go back to it when I'm done trying out other stuff. But I cannot. Yeah. Kind of the one thing that's really missing with the 
current skills that I can say so far. TLDR, uh, good. Yeah, TLDR, they're, they're, they seem very good so far. A lot more choice. You get a lot more uh, active choice in what you're doing and what you're building for. And there's just more options in general, which is nice. Hopefully they add that at some point. Yeah, I'm just not sure why it's not in already. The holy hate. The holy hate. <laughs> Bigots logging onto Twitter. I was saying her thoughts. You know, sometimes when you have like a joke in your head and you just can't figure out how to word it properly, it's pretty pretty much that in my <laughs> mind. Probably should turn on DLSS again, maybe. I'll turn it on. My weapon is empty. It is making the game look a little too soupy, but whatever. Oh fuck, that's a lot of fire. No. Get judged, idiot. Where's the nader? Oh, that's a sniper. Nader's like right next to me. And there's a nader. I think I got him. Nice, silly. Nice, dead. I need but a little healing. Oh, he'll take a heal? Yeah, why not? There's, there's four of them. Upper Savant? You mean like the music artist? You mean like the word with a meaning? True. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a big dudes. Unfortunately for them, I have... Gun. The, the one reason I have to still use the Void Strike staff over the Lightning staff is because I think my Void Strike staff has a skill that makes it better against Carapace uh, armor types. Mm. And Carapace armor is the only thing that actually resists damage from the, the homing arrows. God, my sensitivity is a little bit too... A little bit too fast. Oh, it's those dudes! Oh, never mind. Not that scary anymore. I remember when, uh... Those dudes with the dual wielding weapons were fucking run killers. No. Back up! Judged. 
The extra fucking double health is pretty big, though. Oh, yeah. I'm exploding. Oh, I, I unlocked... Uh, I unlocked... Uh, uh, a cosmetic for killing an elite with my suicide. Huh. We take those. Uh, intentional, actually. Yeah, that was intentional so I could get the, the unlock. There, I really didn't need to use it for this one guy, but yeah, but you, you, your hatred was rising. You really fucking hated that dude. True, that dude was just uh, the worst. Uh, boss. Oh, they're coming up to you. I'm not gonna do with that. Well, I can just go down again. No. I really, really hate you. Look at this sigil. Huh? It's just, it has just, I hate you written on the front. <laughs> That's why I deal, it makes you deal more damage because the enemy reads and it's like, oh, what did I do? True. Closing fast, those guys are the slowest shits around. Do I have my, uh, my ping? I don't really, the, wasn't the ping in this game really weird? Like you couldn't actually uh, do it until, um, there was, there was like a special in view. Uh, you need something to ping specifically, yeah. You can ping armor as well. But you can't ping a location. Unless you, you, oh, you have to hold it and then you can, uh, you get a big little wheel pop up and then you can ping a location. No idea what my ping button was. Mine is, uh, one of the side buttons on my mouse. Uh, the side button on my mouse easy. is, uh, invincibility and rev chainsaw. I think... Uh, it might be middle click by default then, but other, other than that, I don't know. Resupply your ammo, roughneck. Arm ammo. Thank you. What you could do. Um, I believe if you look at our uh, ammo and otherwise if you look at a Medicaid station, it tells you your button to mark it. Mm. Nice. I was able to, I'm able to bring out the what's it called? Yeah, if you look at this in, in the top right of the of the pop up thing, it should say. It. Oh, it was my mouse button, but it changed because of something. Because uh, I have I have like seven mouse buttons, and I have to bind them all to mouse keys. Uh. No, nah, I hate you all. Well, they're all still so racist towards you. 
really put you into the Towards boots me? of a of a Warhammer world. Mhm. Mm Towards you. Yeah. I always like the, the reluctance. Whenever I do something useful, the reluctance of like, ah, fine. <laughs> you did, you were useful. Okay. Oh, I'm getting fucking launched. Of sawing people. Extremely normal thing to say. What? That you love sawing people. True. Lamthor person coming up. Oh, never mind. They're dead. Get arrowed. I'm looking quite healthy. There's an M. There is a medication station here. You can just use it. True. God, the amount of recall this fucking gun has. Killed the sniper. Okay. I click the objective. Oh fuck, there is it. I'm in fire. Damn, you truly are in fire. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot of gunners, I don't like that. Yeah, Even I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. I mean they didn't actually do any damage to us because of the, the buff, but Yeah. <laughs> On account of the fucking infinite armor and health. Where's the, the chain dude? There's two uh, mini gunners under you. One I got both of them. No, here it is. No! Here, invincibility to everyone. All the flying maggots everywhere when you kill these people. Yeah. Pretty great. Me making the housing market. Uh, me making the housing market for maggots ten times worse. I love the holy hate line. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mmm, 
some blood. So sparse. New objective purge the heretics. I was already doing that, but sure. Yeah, we're already in the process of doing that. We're already. Ow, my ass. Holy shit. My cheekers. Me throwing out fucking homing insta kill projectiles. It's called skills, Alex. <laughs> you seeing all the skill I'm using to just left click towards this horde? True. Let me in. Yo, forty different bajillion achievements. Yeah, I unlocked a couple times. I'd like two. How many? The total kills in the top is a. Uh, Shared, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, I got a fucking gun. I don't give a shit. I got a curio. I got like a bunch of bones. Bones! Yeah, here's your reward for this mission. It's a bunch of bones. You a big bone fan? I'm a, I'm a moderate bone fan. Not a big bone fan, but a moderate bone. What's your favorite bone? Uh, the one that's not the femur, but it's next to the femur, you know? Yeah, I know. That's, that's a pretty good bone. Can't go wrong with that. Mm. Even though my force, my force staff is the best one I have, I am going to use the search staff again a bit. I'm gonna check the shop. Oh no, that's it's not gonna reset until like eight more minutes. But I'm gonna check anyway. But that is a very. Uh, I was gonna say that's a very good force staff, but it's not quite. Yo, the dunce cap. Amidst the, the complaints of um, how much money the the new players now get, I've seen a lot of people call the, the beta helmet a dunce cap. This kind of just makes you feel like a fool. You, you can set loadouts. You can? Where? It's the, it's the fucking dinky ass button in the top right. No. Is that? It? Oh my fucking god, it is. I think you're right. Bruh. It is. That's so fucking annoying. The fucking two pixels in the top right. They gave me a pop-up when I opened this window. Why didn't the pop-up tell me that? Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to go back to my four staff and I'm going to create a loadout for... Um, my uh, Palpatine shit.
Got all damage resistant, grant you invulnerability. Unsuccessful dodge. I don't know if I want to do dodge. So are you going to go more offensive base now? We'll give it a shot. Because then I'm going to grab the, the barrier. So I can be more uh, with my bio lightning and the barrier. I can be a bit more supportive maybe. So. The question then becomes. Would you prefer 10% damage? 10% cooldown reduction on your abilities? Or 4% crit chance? I do not know because honestly I don't know how good crit chance is. So. Cooldown reduction or damage? Probably damage. Just any really attack speed. Uh, I'll take that. How can I? I'm gonna need to go into the Sycarnium for a second because one of the augmentations is that my shield becomes circular. I have no idea what it's actually gonna change, so I need to check that real quick. Like, cool if it becomes a dome, but I don't know, like, if that actually encapsulates me better or if it just makes makes it smaller shield effectively. Hmm. Balance. I now make the shield a dome. Let's see, toughness damage reduction. Yeah, so this ends up being basically the same as the staff. Holy shit, that, that, that becomes huge. Oh, it's like a full 360 dome. That's probably pretty good then. Hmm. Then the question becomes, what occurred? Be do I do the thing where um, it becomes a big dome and you replenish toughness while you're inside? Or there's a 10% chance that um, enemies that pass through it get stunned? Uh, I reckon the dome is going to be better. Yeah, the dome... We can actually like have some survivability. Yeah, the dome seems better. I don't think like ten percent. If it was like a fifty percent chance, maybe. Well, granted, it's a ten percent chance for small enemies and a hundred percent chance for specialist enemies, but they also damage the shield. So I don't know if it's worth doing that because. Yeah. Basically, we. Uh will regenerate a bunch of toughness, 10% each second. Um, and we will be uh, protected from range attacks. Should be fun. And there's just an issue of the final one. So I'm just going for the same one where Okay, well... How can I edit this weapon? There's like four options here. New blessing? New blessing? How much does it cost? It is done. Let's 
looks garbage. Let's so re-blast. Oh, so I don't actually have any blessings to re-blast with? Because I have no fucking clue. Yeah, you have to uh, sacrifice a weapon with a blessing. Mm. So basically, you get a shitty weapon with a good blessing. You just destroy that, and then you can put it on a different weapon. Kind of want this bad boy. One advantage oh, yeah. of being able to uh, equip multiple skills for the small ones. So, uh, in the previous, before this update, I always had to choose between regaining toughness when I'm building peril and replenishing, replenishing toughness when I'm or like replenishing toughness on kill and replenishing toughness on venting. But now I can grab both the skill that replenishes toughness when I get peril and also when I vent peril. Hmm. Which just seems like a no-brainer really. I also managed to upgrade my weapon to 475 power. It's also gold now. Transcendent weapon. So, um, in case you can't remember that, your, uh, that, like, how a good weapon works is that, like, the, the little number above just the base stats can only go up to 380 total. So the closer to 380 it is, the better the weapon, technically. Then you still the, want... The little number? Um, yeah, you have the total power, and then you have the, t the power per, like, section, where it's, like, the, mm. the base stats, and then the blessings, and then whatever. So 380 on the blessing is max stats. But it doesn't, that doesn't fill all the bars. I think all the bars cap out at 80. So ideally, you would have, like, 80 in all the ones you, all the stats you care about, and then 60 in one of the stats that you don't care about. Because I think that's how the... How max weapon looks. Also, wow, they they have numbers now. Let's go. No longer just dumb bars. Pretty sure this game just had bars at launch. Uh, it was fucking stupid. No, at launch, yes, but they they did add the numbers while we were still playing. They added that very shortly, very shortly after. Mm. We uh, we got the the detailed view pretty quick. My bolt gun is kind of, kind of dunkin, a little bit. Each weapon is a relic. It should be cared for as such. Oh yeah, there is also one passive that I can get. That's just a fifty percent increased radius for your coherency aura, which always just seems like a. I mean, I guess obviously I'm taking that. Hmm. How much unyielding enemies? I've got my skill set up. We bless. Power for every enemy you stagger. That seems like hot trash. Uh. Whatever. Oh no. Place to skip cutscene. I don't care. Mystery act. Oh yeah, I forgot to come with loot boxes. Well, like kind of loot boxes. We love loot boxes. What is the right tree? I haven't actually given a good look at the right stuff. Stealth for three seconds on stealth again, 20 movement speed, backstab damage. I 
Weird. So, uh, take a quick look at this, if you don't mind. Because this feels... This is a consequence of one of the passives I have that make it so... Uh, on a chance, on a kill, I have a chance to get a buff that makes it so my next Blitz attack deals more damage and stuff. And I mm -hmm. think it doesn't take any peril. But, like... I can just infinitely channel it now while I have that. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. I, it might only be like that in the training mode, but... Hmm... That this this can't be right. A little goofy. Like if I get rid of the buffs, this is what it's normally supposed to be like. So like I build peril pretty quick. Yeah. Also, yeah, you still can do the movement tech. There we go, buff again, so now I'm just fucking invincible. Yeah. All right. I have a build. I'm the defensive person now. Wow, these weapon cosmetics have not changed. They're still yeah. literally the fucking same. I know, it's fucking weird. I'm now wondering if it's better to use my Void Strike so I have actual big damage, or if it's better to use the flamethrower stuff so I can more efficiently kill hordes. Because mm. against an elite, I'm probably just going to use my bio lightning to stun them. But I'll stick with the four stuff for now. Well, I suppose we should do a mission. Probably, yes. Increase specialist deployment? Sure. Why not? You have storm grenade. Were you using the grenade just now as well? Mm hmm. Were you using the grenade in your previous build as well? Yeah. What what alternatives do you have? I have like an incendiary grenade and then some other stuff. I didn't check the backstab uh -huh. one because I feel like the backstab sneaky playstyle seems kind of dumb. <laughs> kind of silly. Yeah. And the incendiary grenade seems a bit weird because really, realistically, you would prefer to just stand there with your chainsword for dopamine receptors activation. Probably. But I mean, I guess it could be situationally useful. Yeah, but like, the joy, like you're playing Zealot so you can be standing in front of the people with the... Uh, what's it called? Yeah. The big sword. Also, uh, hold on. Check this. This is my dome. Stay That's inside it to regenerate your. Uh, yeah, it's quite big. Stay inside it to regenerate your uh, your peril fast, or not your peril, your uh, toughness. Reward these faithful servants for their toil. Death to the false emperor. Nah. I haven't used my ability yet. Probably should, so I can get familiar with it again. I'm 
zapping him. Bro Thank exploded. You some find a small diamantine stash? Yeah. You're welcome. I saw a post on the Payday subreddit from someone who was trying to grief their team mm -hmm. by nading like 40 civilians. Uh, but they they uh, seem to not know that the cleaner cost doesn't get shared between teammates and it's just you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking epic. I think I saw that post as well. God post. Pretty, pretty grand. No, uh, uh, oh, okay. He did actually get stunned from time. I thought he wasn't gonna get stunned. Yeah, being able to stun people with while still having a, a high damage stat is pretty nice. Hmm. And it's also um, no. the lack of of spreading across enemies is one thing I really hated. This is quite a predicament. At least we're in a burial. Uh, burial. I'm gonna stun them all. Honestly, I, I do find that... I feel like now... there Unless the staff has a much stronger stun, which I don't believe it has, it feels like there's very little reason to use the lightning staff over this lightning ability. Mm. Because it's just, just better from what I can tell. Like, it spreads way more. Brother, I can't get out of the corner. I can't do anything. Okay. I literally couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yep. Me getting stuck into a corner and not being able to do anything. I genuinely thought there was one of the bots in front of it at first. It's like, ah, fuck it. The sniper just not being able to shoot us right now is pretty nice. Hmm. 
I've got some, uh, some, some nice amount of wounds, I think. I yeah, got a couple nice ones. There's a medical station here. Is this, does it don't, oh, you already use it? Yeah, it was just one for some reason. Usually it's, there's more yeah, than that. That's what I was gonna say, because like, you clearly didn't use it yet. Yeah, no, it, it, it really does work like that. I can just infinitely charge it right now. Yeah, that doesn't seem intentional. I guess the point is that I can't... Uh, it's not really practical since I have to stop doing it so I can actually move. But... Quite strong. Also, uh, while I was trying to use it just now, uh, an enemy just hitting me did knock me out of it. So... Mm. I was just, it might be the balancing factor. It's definitely less OP in situations like this than I originally thought, but I think if there's a horde coming and I can just stand in front of them and make them not move. Yeah. Pretty nice. I suppose. Speaking of hordes coming in. Oh, fuck. I feel like my offensive ability is just about the same. Oh my god, my frame rate! I sure am holding left click at this horde. Yeah, like I said, if there's a horde coming and I can just stand here and, and channel my ability permanently. That's <laughs> ridiculous. I feel like there was almost no way for you to take damage there because they would just get stunned as soon as they came in range. I suppose I'll, I'll use one for the one wound I have. Yeah, may as well. Still seems like I'm pretty damn good at being a special killer. Which is good because I definitely am not right now because I'm just gonna try to stun them as much as possible. Yeah, the, the, the dome definitely is nice to have. It's, uh... Oh fuck, my shield! Oh fuck, same. I wish I had my dome right now, but I just used it. Bro, I domed up. Definitely feels like my, my bolter is doing a little less than I want it to. Maybe it got nerfed? Yeah, maybe. Maybe just enemies in general are stronger now or something like that. Could also oh, just be that... Gonna be... Hmm? Could just be that maybe I was much better hitting headshots. True. Like, uh, yeah. We are, of course, not used to the game as much anymore. Oh but, shit, we got the uh, banger think... coming in? Oh, you're right. But yeah, I think standing in, in this uh, little tower is definitely going to be a great spot for my lightning bullshit. Hmm. It's not going to be able to enter. There's audio. You're going to yeah. turn it off? Yeah. Data 
a uh, big exploded by, by me. Also, I'm doing this data thing by myself, I think. What do you mean? I've got a, a data thing I have to do over here. Uh, yeah, this is one of those projective sorters for and random ones break, so. Oh. So I'm, this is why I'm just hearing that I'm uh, gonna be here in the tower. Oh, it's the one in front of the tower that's broken. So if you feel like coming over to do the objective, I can uh, protect you. Bolt or in other games. It's a shame that you can never ever have one because uh, Games Workshop are prudes. Yeah. Apparently, uh, a lot of people want shirtless cosmetics, but Games Workshop also just doesn't want it to be a thing. Which seems like a really weird specific uh, no no to have. Yeah. It's like. Surely people in this universe are capable of taking off their shirts, right? Right. You want? Can you take care of this one? Yeah, I can do that. I'll, uh... Oh fuck! I'm getting grabbed. Yeah, I'll stun the the people around. Got it. I kind of wish that this game had more objectives and it wasn't just a hard shooter. I guess I'm kind of just ha like asking for it to be like payday. Since the objectives we do have are like very, very like, like five seconds of the total mission. Yeah. I definitely notice when I don't have the, or when I didn't have the lunging ability. Just because, like, I couldn't close the distance on enemies. Mm hmm But I am noticing it's probably better. The, the, what's it called? The cross. Yeah. yeah. The cross is probably just better. I suppose you don't really need to close in on the enemies if that, just walking forward is invincible. Yeah. In this instance, this would have been great. What the happened to me? Oh, I'm getting fucking launched. Fucking perish, hello? <laughs> Fucking explosion of maggots. I got none of these enemies in this room were on edge, despite the fact that they just heard the biggest fight of all time on the other side. Yeah. I suppose they might have expected us to be dead, but now, like, yeah, no way. 
But they don't hear the screaming of the hatred. Repent for your sins. Now nah, the heretics are probably dead in there. Known for being smart. True. It's just the the big old boss thing. Maybe can maybe can hear voices. You know. True. You experiencing my, the voices? Uh, yeah. I think my shield blocked the trapper projectile. Hmm. Me zapping literally everything over here. Yeah, I don't really need the uh, the movement either, in instances like that. I mean, you didn't need to just keep moving. There's so much like space in that one room. I thought, oh, surely there's something we're supposed to be doing in there. There's also no there is objectives in this area on specific missions. There's a box here. Oh, and uh, one of those empty medicase. An empty medicase station? No way. Oh, it's the one we need the battery. Oh, that was a that was a toughie. Yeah, honestly, really difficult. The butthole. We can't get into the butthole, yeah. sadly. Really wanted to enter the butthole. My favorite enter the gungeon spinoff. I am forsaken, it seems. We have to go over here. No. -uh. It's definitely going the right thing. God, it's so hard getting used to the recoil on the the bolter again. Where you're like, you need to aim with the recoil because the gun is in a different spot every time you fire. Brahms claims loyalty to the Imperium, but she There's an ammo box there if you want it. The one of the deployable ones. The deployable ones, yum. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, right. It's this mission. The, the train one. Yeah. Get that. I pray the Alfred. Holy ammunition. Yum, I'm so full from ammunition. Holy ammunition even. True. I keep thinking I can block bullets, but uh, it's not exactly working out like that. Well, at least uh, my barrier blocks him. He needs safety. There is some way of doing it. There's actually, um, on the other build, there's some skills in there. Um, 
which have like a gimmick of um, on a crit, I count as blocking against range attacks temporarily. Hmm. Or as dodging against range attacks. And um, the dodge duration can get increased a little bit. So, I think it's been a little hard to tell how much it actually does, but I feel like it should be good, right? Just, like, you hit a crit and for like a second, the next range attack doesn't do anything to you. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty decent. The difference is just like, how, how often do you crit? Uh, quite often. Because it's uh, because I built that. You just built that way? Built different? Open. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, the fun thing about those arrows is that they uh, their crit gets calculated on launch, not oh. on hit. So if I on if I left click and that one gets a crit, every single enemy it hits uh, gets crit, which is very neat. Nice. I'm not sure if that procs the thing repeatedly, but it does mean that it, that extra arrow deals a bunch of extra damage for its entire duration. These guys are getting zapped to shit. True. Abomination? Are we getting a big old boss? I don't think so. Oh, I was too late to throw it on my shit. I'm gonna drop a heal. No! So many fucking particle effects. I'm doing the Giga Zappy. Stick down the funny ammo cache. Oh my god, there's so many fucking range enemies. Not anymore. I tried for the Pox Burster. It's good, I can push him away. Oh. There is a there is a big boss, you're right. It's one of the really annoying ones too. Yeah, I have no idea where to shoot him. I feel like it's the yellow tanks on his back, but This dude literally did no damage to me because I was in your barrier. <laughs> oh yeah, that bar the barrier is uh, quite effective. I'm mad uh, dog. Oh, I forgot when I uh, charge into them, they get launched off. <laughs> Nice. I can't believe this healing station is just still healing. It's been going at it for fucking ages now. It just ended. Literally just ended. As you said that. As you were, that was fucking. Like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> It was like, no way I'm supposed to end. Boo, you don't yeah, get taken with the, uh... Quite good. 
It's a shame we don't get taken with the, the bridge when it opens up. Make this grenade deliver holy fire. I'm not using the incendiary grenades, you stinky. <laughs> Total kills 999. We reached the upper limit. Damn. I suppose I'm gonna. Oh, it's just three. Uh, I suppose I'm gonna stick with this skill stuff, and I'm probably gonna. Mm, might use the flamethrower staff again. Hmm. Although, I suppose whenever there's a horde, I'm just using lightning charge right now. <laughs> so it feels a bit of a waste to use that, the flamethrower staff. I don't know. Supposal stick with the void strikes or anything. Yeah. Oh, I got disconnected. Epic. No way. Congrats. True. Me getting the funny flamethrower. You thrown flames? I can do a little bit of thrown flames. You should make sure. Is there? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I just had the thought of like, hey, I only checked if there's new four swords. I should make sure there's not a new staff as well. But there isn't. Bit of a shame, but... What the fuck? A throwing knife? I could get a throwing knife? Oh, hell yeah. That sounds sick. Alright, well... We can go on a mission, I suppose. Yeah, you got your shit set up. I think so. I'm gonna go with like a flame build if I can. Maybe, potentially. See how that works. So, flamethrower and the uh, fire grenades? Yeah. Huh. Seize grimoires. Uh, lower enemy concentration. Damn. Oh, really? I didn't check. I just saw the three star and was like, okay. Yeah, it's one of the ones that has a fewer enemies. The heretics have cottoned onto the idea of poisoning Tertium's water supply. We found a source of the poisoning, so you're taking a little trip. Get into the silo, send the heretics back in, and get the water supply restored. It's nice that. Selecting different abilities now feels like you're really changing your playstyle. Mm hmm. And then you can actually do it like decently, decently well. Yeah. Because I remember um, on Psyker before, it was basically a waste not to take the one that gives you warp charges. Mm -hmm. And then you know, the whole issue of like getting real sad when people snipe the ta the person you were trying to brain burst because then you might lose your warp charges and you just lose like 15% damage buff. <laughs> Great old time. Me with my fucking flame grenade. Oh, I forgot this flame door is weird. Oh. I'm allowed to walk in. That's nice. Am, am I? Oh, so am I. Oh, that's really good. Where the fuck did my barrier go? Yeah, yeah it went down. <laughs> it went to the floor. Like, look down. Oh, my fucking god. That's a shame. 
Would have been nice to actually have it against all these uh, gunners here, but... You know. Mm -hmm. Can't have it all, I suppose. I'm gonna place it again. I kind of wish I had more nades now, because these seem pretty good. Oh my god, your your shield makes the sound that the, the Star Wars shields do. Like, you know, the ones from the, the Gungan battle? The blunk, 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 blunk. <laughs> Is it actually? Yeah. Pretty nice. I always love just a lot of games and media use that sound for like energy barriers and i really love it it just mm -hmm. it just feels so like it feels so good to see shit get blocked by a barrier when it makes a little doop, doop, doop. yeah like a real bulbous blinky sound yeah I really want to put a nade in that choke point, but there's no enemies, there's not really much of a point. Yeah. We probably should have gone for a high intent uh, for a high intensity engagement uh, mission instead. Oh, oh there are two enemies. I was gonna shoot my uh, shoot my thing into him, but I'm not I'm not going to just so you can uh, burn them all. Fucking mega burn. Very nice. I also like the enemy burn and your burn have like, quite a big distinction in graphics. Oh, it's it's really annoying when I start firing my um my flame door, my sensitivity like goes to like ten percent. I wonder if that you could also change that. But it might just be like a flamethrower firing thing. Maybe. Stun them all in the. <laughs> Getting stunned and immediately fucking fired. Where are the enemies coming? We're getting hoarded, right? Yeah, they're coming from the store. But they're just not getting very far. On account of the stuns. Yeah, like. Oh, fuck. I'm I'm enjoying abusing this, but it is ridiculously overpowered. Just literally stand in a doorway and just completely shut down a horde. Yeah. Kind of funny though. Yeah, the flamethrower has like no impact. It's kind of kind of sad. Which kind of makes sense. It's a flamethrower, but... Yeah, with flamethrower, you're... At least, at least how it is with the, the flamethrower staff. The, the, the funny dopamine comes less from the big hits and more from just seeing a horde fall over right in front of your eyes. Oh, they're coming for me. They really wanted you. Yeah, the mutants take a while to get stunned, but once they do, they're also just uh, useless again. Oh, this is also going to be a great place for my barrier in a minute. So we have to do the survival bit. Okay. Oh, this is a different. Oh, this is a different mission. 
Why did I just get a text? Not a text, but like a notification from Just Eat that says ready to play? But fucking what? Your food app? Yeah. My wallet? Ready to play with my my money? Didn't your parents tell you to always play with your food? True, this is... Well, they told the opposite, but you know. No, they definitely told you to play with your food more. Oh my god. A good opportunity to use my barrier. Oh, True. I hear you now, yeah. Yeah, you should go to the front. You can hear the boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, it's very good sound. Oh, it's gone. Uh oh. Oh, we have to cross Looks a like gap of enemies? Oh, the, the fucking combination of you making us invincible and me just stunning every enemy is kind of <laughs> stupid. I'm calling a freight elevator. And grenades over there as well. Oh, let's go. I know where I'm putting this bad boy. <laughs> Dude. Oh, it's very Can noticeable there. Behind us? I want to just stand here and completely shut down the bridge. Keeping an eye behind us. Yeah, look at look at this bridge here. They just <laughs> can't get past us. Ow, my fucking ass! Oh, this is a an enemy bomb. I do wish it was an actual book. Would have been so cool if it was a book. Yeah. Like just the pages flying about. Oh. It's an enemy fire. Yeah, the enemy fire is, is like person high. Arc. Yeah, it's it's higher and it's uh it it's like orange while yours is a little bit more yellow. Yeah, it's more saturated. Interesting they actually thought of that. There's also the Psyker's fire which is blue. True. It's also kind of different. With the funny weapon charm that dangles about. Me picking up crafting materials. Let's go. I'm crafting. No, uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, uh.
I think it might just be best to have the fire grenades and not actually take a, fl uh, a flamethrower with you. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. So I'm not sure how good the flamethrower is. It doesn't feel very good, but this one also isn't, like, super specced. They come from behind or in front? A couple came from, uh, there is a couple coming from behind, but it's not much. Yeah, I think it's done again. Oh, there's more coming. And they're dead. Oh, here they come. Famist. Oh fuck, never mind. No. Oh, I got fucking snatched. Luckily, I have infinite HP right now. I, c I can't spray them down because they keep hitting me. There we go. Cook! Let him cook! Understandable. Me reloading a single fucking single round. Well, you have to keep your edge and grid up. True. Gotta refresh my edge. This is really gonna date this stream. <laughs> There's a fella behind me. No! He provides the means of death unto his servant. This is the way. Ugandan knuckles preacher. This is the way. I guess it's more Mandalorian, maybe. Like you were just talking about uh, the Payday 3 reference dating the stream, and then you completely fucked up their dating by making a Uganda Knuckles reference. True, we need to make a, make the stream as like, in, like unsearchable as possible. Untimable as possible. Gotta start like, talking yeah, about Nyan like, Time of Time of Uganda Knuckles, this game wasn't even out yet. How is this possible? <laughs> Keep it at a distance. Ammo! Yum, ammunition. Me love ammunition. We go down. Now coming back. More ammunition? I already got plenty, but I guess I'll take it. Oh What a girl. What? But they just My barrier also blocks grenades from flying in. Let's go. Mm 
getting me revving my shawl. Yum. I want to want to find another big choke point. I can throw a nade down. Oh yeah, once we uh, once we're at the escape part of this, you, you we could totally just stand in the doorway and <laughs> kill a bunch of enemies as they are uh, coming. Also, you can just throw it up there right now because there's a bunch. Oh yeah. Of yeah. Done, please. Mmm, I love my entire screen turning red. Guns. Objective start. This is the one where you gotta go and, go and kill a whole bunch of shit, right? Yeah, where you gotta slap the goobers. Oh, never mind. It's the one where. Oh, no, it is. Can I just torch him? Yeah, I can just torch him. Nice. Probably not worth the ammo that I'm putting into it, to be honest. Please get torched. Hello. Thank you. The gross are coming. Remember uh, flame builds being very strong at launch. Yeah, that's definitely not worth the ammo sink, considering I can defeat it in one melee swing. <laughs> I know what to do. I'll just do that. Dude, that actually covers your entire barrier, by the way. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's, uh, that's also really good, because they can't come in now. And the ranged enemies can't do anything either. Combo the sentry. The holy hate! The holy hate! <laughs> I quickly popped my barrier to uh, block the grenade because I didn't know where the grenade was. Hmm. Who's that now? Get fucking chainsawed. System is being restored.
I wonder if we like interchange our abilities if we would just be unkillable. I think their, their cooldowns are a bit longer than that, but... Oh, yeah, I mean, we would definitely be very strong at least. It's gonna be hard to kill. Because my mine doesn't heal you enough to make you truly invincible. But yeah. it, it's got pretty close. Okay, I think the cooldowns are gonna be too long. Nah, no people come from this direction, thank you. Let me turn on my knob. Ooh. I'm currently twisting my knob right now. I'm over here twisting my knob, I got grease on my knob. I don't think you can say that on the screen. I can. Ow. Right, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can just stand here and kill. Oh, there's a quick melee. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, what is a quick melee? Oh yeah, it's the the empower button on my melee weapon. Mana grenades. Sad. Come on, give me some enemies. Don't think enemies are coming, sadly. Gum! they're flying away true less kills i mean i guess we were on a a modifier that give us less enemies yeah. yo should i got a ha i got the uh i got the thunder hammer nice i actually need to do i actually do need to use a a normal Thunder hammer at some point. I've never actually used it that much. You should um, go by the weaponsmith and then check the like the the base weapons you can buy just to see if there's new melee weapons, like a new th type of thunder hammer or anything like that. Hmm. Because there might be, like it was for me with the special melees. In which case, it would probably be interesting to just know. There does appear to be. Unless I never saw it before. Crucius Mark II Thunderhammer. Or Iron Helm Thunderhammer. There's also a mace now. Oh. I've never seen it before. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen seen this one before. I think give it a go, I suppose. Maybe I have. Commodore Alloin for the strategic. Let's see what I could Honor thy oaths, honor thy emperor. This is the Sycanium. 
I'm getting a Sidcanian tutorial. I don't give a shit, dude. Bruh. Do you still remember this game's story mode? Or did the game's story cutscene? Uh, no. I really didn't. Alright, well, so... While you were doing missions, there was like, Oh, there's a traitor on board! And then the traitor was just some dude. So like, they, they suspected you, but it wasn't you, and it's just some dude. Uh, they turned that traitor, that uh, traitor into the merchant selling um, cosmetics. Mm. Not the premium ones, but the, the like the weapon skins. It's kind of funny. Like they got murdered at the end of the story, and then they just turned their corpse into a drone. Mm. Pretty nifty. Enemy attacks initially damage your toughness. Once your toughness is broken, they damage your health. Additionally, enemy attacks will stagger and stop. Killing enemies in melee replenishes toughness. Each nearby teammate also grants toughness regeneration. Let's go, toughness regeneration! That marks the end of basic training. Now ready to serve. Oh, you abandoned my strike team. Oops. Let me go into the training sim. Bruh, put me to the entrance again. Go. I've worked with worse. Gotta do the meat grinder. To do the meat grinder. Yeah, the meat grinder is the one where you just have some enemies. Hmm. Right, it's just like all the, the static vaults that you can just kill to check for damage. The other two are actual tutorials. Yuck. Learning. Urgh. Yuck. Erg. Let me in! I wonder if this is just going to be another Thunder Hammer. I reckon it's just a Thunder Hammer with different attack chains. Maybe like my four swords where it's like either single target focused or sweep focused. Seems like the Thunder Hammer. Me fucking schlunk. Funny little thunder hammer. OK. 
Can I change weapons? Yeah, you gotta walk to the box. Then I got this one. What is this one? Is this a new one or is this just... So that, that one seems oh. to cleave with the thunder attack. Well, the other one was just a big single, single turret swing. Yeah. So this is single target, but the, target, the, but the uh, yeah, the charges. Yeah, so I think the idea is probably that you'd want to use this if you're using something like a boulder, because then if there's a special, you can just boulder him to death and you can sweep hordes. Well, if you're using the flamethrower, you can just flamethrower hordes and then you use a big single target hit for uh, specials. And that's what I'm theorizing as well. The balance build. It seems like this one goes through until it hits a hard target. Yeah, so like... Again, if you use this for like sweeping hordes, if you have something to deal with the hard targets, you're carrying your bolter. Hmm. Oh, what the? Ah, so this is still just a sweeping attack. It seems like it could be fun. Wanna do one more with this configuration? Oh yeah, but this does fucking track shit against people with armor. Secondary weapon. I would use the Thunder Hammer, but it's fucking the stats on it are Daluki. Ah, it's fine. We're only doing like three stars anyway. I'm not in your lobby anymore, I forgot. Okay, so... Yeah. My talents. I'm gonna stick with this for now and then later on I'll um I'm gonna make a build that combines the shields. Actually you know, oh I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna combine the shield with the arrows. I'm gonna make a defensive build but with arrows still. Wait, hold up, this could be pretty Pretty nasty, actually. Because, like, 1% of damage taken is converted to ability cooldown reduction. And if my ability is the infinite, like, the invincibility, that means, like, the more damage I take, the faster I get invincibility. That's a good point, yeah. The tide is too dark? Yeah, the tide is too dark. So dark. I can improve your armaments if Dome. activated. And then... 
Is this worth consecrating? Probably not. Let me check the actual weapons. Yeah, there's the mace. I don't remember seeing this. It must be new. Oh! Uh, I remember that being added. That got added, uh, like, uh, pretty much when we stopped really playing, but when I was still, like, checking updates. Hmm. So, like, right after we stopped really playing it. Hold on, let me, let me go and test it. I want to see if it's a cleave weapon. Shoof. I mean, we stopped playing, what is it, like a month after it came out? Yeah, maybe something like that. I can't remember exactly. Grr. What? This is also a charge weapon? Yeah. Basically a thunder hammer, except it's just thunder mace. It sucks. The tracks. Make a good Mason a video game challenge. Looks like it has big range on the attack, so. Hmm. It also staggers every enemy close to it. So it's like a utility weapon? Is the is the is that a cleave? If it would hit anything. Weird. Maybe this would be better if I had like an upgrade version. Mm. Since this is only blue. Do you like squirrels? I think they're pretty cool. Squirrels are kind of kind of nice. Under armor. Wait, are you? Are you are a man lobby? Am yeah. I at the queue now? I was gonna complain that you're in Sycarnium. Would you have a pet squirrel? I'm not sure if I would have a pet squirrel. It seems like it could be kind of fun. Right, so uh, like I said, I'm going to use the barrel and my homing guards. The barrel, the barrier. There's a vast cogitator array hidden in the torrent. The you got a, wait, you got a barrier and a homing guard? So you get two specials? Yeah. What the fuck? I oh, know the the the, the homing darts and lightning shit are my like what you have with with basically my grenades. These are my blitz. And mm. the barrier is just uh, instead of the like the scream that I, that I used to have by default. I got my like this build, which is the uh, incendiary grenade and the invincibility. So now I, uh, I've lost my stuns, basically. I should have used my stun uh, staff, actually. But yeah, I've lost my stuns, but I still have my uh, the funky shield for uh, for those fun combos. Mm. And I also pick more of the defensive... Uh, the, my 
minor skills are still most uh, similar to before. So more <laughs> Look at the amount of wounds I have. Do we have the same amount? Yeah, we have the same amount. I have so I, I, uh, when we still played, I prioritized uh, wound giving curios because it just seemed like uh, most useful. Mm. I still got a great chunk as well. Pretty nice. Repent! Are you telling the exploding barrel to repent or? Mm hmm. Fair enough. Okay, I do gotta do charge attacks on this bitch though. Having the barrier just block nades is very nice. The fire still goes in, but at least it's just half of the barrier that's uh, that's burning. Yeah, those uh, those arrows are insane. Yeah, it really is just... Like, I shoot them at, uh, into crowds, and they're just phenomenal for uh, for horde clear. But they also just deal enough damage to sort of deal with whatever. We're all fucking blown up. Hold on, I need to ADS for one and a half seconds to get my edge stacks. <laughs> the fuck is it, bro? He's up, I think. Target pacification. Never mind. Grant me hate. Targets marked for death. I pray that when they come, our deaths are fatal in the beneficent entering sight. Fuck you, gunners. Ah, stop shooting me. Oh, rather than the, the damage aura, I went with the dam uh, the cooldown reduction aura this time. Hmm.
Me taking a lot of damage. So out of any like wild animal, what would you have as a pet? If I if I had to pick a wild animal? Yeah. Oh, um I mean shit like otters always seems fun whenever you see like the TikToks of people that own otters. Yeah. Even though they're not fit to be pets. Um I'm a fan of parrots and birds in general, so uh, for the more wild birds, um, like owls are really cool. But I don't know how valid of an answer it is because there is a fair amount of people that own owls for all just pets. Even though I, I'd still count them as well animals, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's, it's a hard question. Uh, I wish being in, in close range with every boss wasn't such a chore. Yeah. What like would your well then be? Mm. Skunks seem really cute, but they're also not very good for one particular reason, I'm sure you can understand. Yeah. They're too hairy. Mm-hmm. Just too hairy. Yeah. Bad for allergies. Aside from that, like ferrets, but there's all those are like towing the line between wild and domesticated at that point. Yeah. That's exactly what I what I also had with the other answer. It's like they're wild animals. But they're like they're doable, you know? They're, they're they're actually still feasible as pets. Yeah, they're more than doable just as, like, domesticated animals. Yeah, it's just they, they require more work than, like, a cat. But they're still manageable. So if I, I feel like... If you really want to get into the spirit of a question like that, you kind of got to figure something that... You can't really practically own as a pet right now. Yeah, something that isn't, like, yeah. really been domesticated. And that sense. Um... You know what would be kind of a sick, uh, sick bird? Mm hmm? Uh, a vulture. Like a buzzard. True. That'd be kind of a sick pet. That would be a pretty... Sick pet, actually. I feel like there would be something inherently enjoyable about having a, like an, a, a, an an animal that has a menacing reputation and have it just be like a friend. Hmm. If like how buzzards or uh, vultures always seem very like ominous. You could or, have, a, uh, have like, a an albino lion and be Richie. <laughs> true! In one piece. Uh, yeah, beast tamer emoji. <laughs> oh, my game is fucking up. Your game is fucking up? Oh, it's a good thing I don't have epilepsy. Yum. The holy hate. The holy hate. Let the hatred it's fill crazy. you. Two minutes of Twitter. <laughs> it's so much a to be holding up a smartphone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I need the thing that makes me rush forward just so I can actually kill things before the arrows reach them. Through. 
No. Your squirrel's being so cute right now. You have a squirrel? You'd love to have a raccoon? You know, actually, a raccoon is a really good answer to that as well. Yeah, true. Raccoons are would be really fun having as pets. And they're... They have been, like, kind of domesticated a little bit. But I don't really think I would count them as domesticated. All the ones that are domesticated are sort of like... You're allowed to live in my garage and I look at you sometimes. <laughs> well, there are some that people who have, like, as actual pets, but... Nice minigun, idiot. What is the, um... What is the other animal, which is like a raccoon? A badger? Is it? It's like a raccoon, but not a raccoon. Um... Cats? No, it's it's an, also an undomesticated animal. It's basically the exact same. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Also, fucking hell, with these abilities, we are unbelievably strong in-universe. Oh, yeah. Like, how are we even challenged? Brosen's a little bit cranky, hmm? <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, uh, Presumably, if I had a wild, the wild animal as a pet, I would be able to like care for them properly and keep them happy, right? Yeah. I was an active friend. Because then... Um, there's also aquatic animals that could be really interesting. True. Like, all the ones that get abused at SeaWorld, except you could actually have them as a friend and have them not be abused. Have, like, a great white shark that you could care for? Yeah, or an orca. I'm... Uh, I'm as a kid, I always was a big fan of orcas and walruses. Very, very specific taste in animals, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, killer whales and a walrus. That's my shit. True, what about a seal? Seals would be... Seals are so cute. Seals would be great. And the... It just... Like, I'm not a big swimmer. I know you are, but I'm not a big swimmer. Uh, but being able to swim with your pet, like yeah. swimming, swimming around with a dolphin or a seal or something would be really cool. And like in the summer, you can just sort of chill in a pool with your with your cute little seal. Oh yeah, Auspex. I forgot about this mechanic. Garbage detective. At least it's like an objective, honestly. No, I got I got trapped. the worst objective ever. Holy 
On my way, bitch. I feel like this weapon is, uh... When it's powered up, is as good as my actual uh, chain sword. I wonder if Wednesday we're gonna get like Modern Warfare attack reloads in a Warhammer game. <laughs> it looks so fucking stupid. Yeah. Attack reloading a bolter. No easy task taking over a hive gang from inside. Hmm. I know. I can't imagine we're getting another Warhammer game. In like a within like a year and a half or so. Although saying that they have been like pumping and dumping Warhammer games for the past couple years. Yeah, Games Workshop is very weird in how they 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 really they really alternate between being very picky about what gets put in their games. They're not really picky about who gets to fuck around with games. Yeah. So there's a lot of Warhammer games. There's always like a pheromone coming out all the time as well. It's just a lot of them very big. There was the, the Warhammer Boomer Shooter that might be worth playing. That seemed kind of fun. The fucking mini gunners are so pathetic if I just pop this shield. <laughs> yeah. Kind of great. Get fucking headshotted. Target neutralization. The chasm, the chasm, the chainsaw man. Oh no! Boss time. Yeah. Yep. This is just a beast in Urgal. Oh, it's coming for me, so you just have a chance to bolt for the fuck out of your weak spots. True. But I'm coming back now because he's a little scary. See my fucking bolter, holy shit. I got that like 70% of the damage to that miracle. Yeah, pretty much. Executing. How it feels to use a bolter. You cannot see death, heretics! You shall not pass! Hatred rises! Hatred rises! My weapon is empty. We have not found any scriptures, holy shit. Yeah. It might just we might just suck at looking for them at the moment, but yeah. It's rough. Yeah, probably just suck ass now. Used to be pretty good at finding everything. We'll get there again. What if there's one over here, huh? Nah. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? He spawned and then just threw a grenade at his own feet to hit me. <laughs> I mean, I do that sometimes. 
true, but you didn't take damage from it. I feel like he would. The banger. You know, it's kind of uh, a bad decision for if you're the enemy to make your like exploding enemy have like a timer or uh, like a beeping that gets uh, more frequent the closer you get. True. Yeah, I definitely feel like they made the uh, the dogs more easily dodgeable. Man, we must smell incredible. Imagine how we smell. Off, I took a shower yesterday. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Like even just from what we've done in the past like five minutes. I think we're gonna stink really bad. Do you not like the smell of blood and guts? I'm sure they honestly do in the Warhammer universe. It seems like the type of thing where it's like, damn, you smell good today. What was that? Four corpses? Yeah, they'd probably like, damn, you smell like you fucking killed crazy heretics today. It's hot as hell. Is that intestines I see? God damn! Interrogate the security stacks. Get uh, interrogated, huh? Yeah, if this was a good uh, weapon, this might be kind of fun. I'm trying to go for you so hard. It's funny because I keep getting like voice lines. Like, wow, is that the Psyker doing that? Damn, that Psyker's efficient. <laughs> Which tells me that these arrows really are uh, just killing everything. But it does feel nice because that's not something I actually ever heard before. Oh, I... Crazy damage. Psycho uh, was so before. I'm currently defending the objective, but... Uh, the... Oh, right. We don't need to do that. Oh, Holy oh. shit. I got slapped to shit. <laughs> the fucking the plink when they tried to hit me. Oh wow! Get over to this objective. You coming over here? Yeah, I'm always just killing some specials. Get a rescued nerd. I could plop down another nade, maybe. Might be worth doing that when the next one breaks. Yeah, I was thinking about the same. Speaking of, the next one's broken.
Oh, it takes three melee swings to kill a normal enemy. Ah! Oh, I could have gone on one pass. I think the the AI are trying to dodge my fire, I think. What's happened? Hmm? One fucking. We have to do one more? Or do we have to. Yeah. Where is it? Okay. That's easy. Over here. Oh, I got knocked out. You did? Well, I got knocked out of the thing. Oh, from here. I didn't think there was an entrance into here. I got some good, I've got some great spawns in exchange there, so that was good. I wish I could have both abilities. But I mean, that would be too, too much, probably. Yeah. But I mean, it would be kind of cool if you could, like, cause, you know, get, get two with the charge or you get the, uh, the book as well. Yeah. I'm only loading Bird one major. shot into my. Uh, oh, I don't have one. I really should have. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have hit that guy with the, the charged attack. Can I knock them off? No, I can't knock them off. Hey, bo uh, help me. What do you need? Oh. Uh, yeah. Just barely managed to before I got the slapped off. Get blasted. We're both running like pure attack builds almost. I'm gonna fix it all again. Yeah, for me it's more of a. Uh, it's more intended to be like a help the other player's tank. But yeah, it is. We are both just like, hey, let's not die the build. It is a bit sad considering, like, you can do the massive offensive thing and your defensive thing at the same time. Yeah. I would trade my nade for um, maybe the melee charge or the book. As fun as the fire nades are. Because it just means I would be able to use them more. I wouldn't be relying on ammunition. That might be cool, eventually. Just making it so that you can choose nade mm -hmm. over an, or an ability over nades. Just let you just let you choose from like all five things, like the, the three abilities and then like the group of nades. Yeah. So you could actually spec into yeah. multiple uh, abilities at once or multiple nades. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be like a fucking nader build. Fucking three different types of nades for all situations. <laughs> One thousand one hundred and three.
No longer than average stream. You're right, you're right. I got an axe, no way. Well, sorry, but you just jinxed it. Stream's True. Over. Stream's over, too bad. You jinxed it. Hydra, I would drink, but I've got a little bit of water left and that's it. I'm gonna get a drink after the stream is done. Mm. No, because I'm gonna go to bed. You sleeping? You the snoozer? No. Yeah, I'm a verified snoozer. Verified snoozer? Yeah. One curse of French people. repellent? <laughs> <laughs> the How French is that a repellent. Curse, it's a blessing. True. So true. It's permanently safe from the French. F saved from the French. What more could you want? Let me check if there's a cool weapon. That is a very high... Oh, uh, I'm gonna just that. When does the the weapon thing reset? Fifty minutes? Every Did hour. They, every hour? Damn, that's that's better. Didn't it used to be like every eight hours before? No, you it used to it, it, it always wow, it always was every hour. I don't believe so. I don't believe that. No, it was. Mmm. I don't know if I believe that. It definitely was. Does this mean you win every strive match against the Bippin? True, it's an automatic forfeit. Damn. Alright. <clears throat> time for me. So, uh, I will see you later. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye. <clears throat> and we shall be done for now as well. We'll be playing more Dark Tide later, probably more Payday 3, and then whatever else is going to be coming out or getting updates. So, all right. Oh, you yeah, should play Strive again because I got um, like major updates, and I have not played since the new updates. Well, I mean, I played a little bit, but not with friends. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.